Now let's talk about Jump Cloud Go. Um, what? So what is Jump Cloud Go, right? Hmm. Um, to me, it's kind of the, the the realization of the platform, the the fact that device management, a managed user on a managed device, using Jump Cloud as your chosen SSO vendor, what can you get from a platform? And we took a ton of inspiration at uh, you know what's out there. I mean, really, there's only one true form of like managed user on managed device in an all-in-one platform, and it's Azure's primary refresh token, where you do an Azure AD join, you sign into a Microsoft account and you can fire up Edge, and you're just automatically available to access your um, entry resources, your 365 resources, like I don't really know what to call them anymore, um, but that is really kind of the seamless user experience when you're living in that consolidated Microsoft stack. Um, so we now have a analog for this that's not gated to Azure Premium Licensing, it's not gated and really only available on Windows, um, it's available for Windows and Mac, and uh, I look forward to bringing it to Linux this year too, because I truly um, believe that um, we need to celebrate Linux in the workplace and uh, our, our peers that use Linux, um, they should have the ability to, to have passwordless login too. So truthfully, this is all about security. Um, it provides an incredible uh, user experience, but the security things are what matters. So this is something I come back to and that actually I found on a LinkedIn post um, and it's the consumer authentication strength maturity model, right? we start to think about working our way up, um, how do we get more secure to protect our users and protect our organizations? And I'm really proud to say that Jump Cloud truthfully supports only six, seven, and eight on this list. Um, so TOTP, right, an app-based two-factor code, um, an app-based codeless two-factor, that's Jump Cloud Protect. And then on top of the chasm, jumping over the chasm, um, now we have a passwordless option. That's really, really exciting. Um, so when we think about what's here, the words are small, but it's about what we're vulnerable to, right? What risks are we exposing our organizations to and our users to? And uh, anytime you're typing in a username and a password in a web browser, you're putting a risk out there. Um, that's a risk to a phishing attack. There are really, really, really compelling phishing attacks that we've seen in our consumer lives. And we also see them in our, our lives as employees using our work accounts. Let's talk a little bit about what my experience is like as a Jump Cloud employee using Jump Cloud Go. Um, company XYZ employee using Jump Cloud Go. There's nothing special about how Jump Cloud uses it. We're using it to secure ourselves. So I'm going to go to the next tab. Perfect. And here's my experience. Uh, I love the community. I post in the community. And let's pretend I'm starting my day. And this is my first request to uh, uh, a resource that I'm using to get work done. Boom, I'm gonna click this button and you're not seeing it because I'm only sharing my screen, but I just put my finger on my authenticator and now I'm there. My only authentication challenge for today. That's it. Um, I was never at risk of putting in credentials. I was never at risk of having to approve a push that may or may not have come from me. So that's why when we think about like why we're at the top of the mountain now, I have affinity. I have a proven trust anchor as a managed user on my managed device. And that gives my organization the security. And it gives me the ability to just prove I'm here and get to my resource. Um, so that's the passwordless flow. Let's do the whole flow from the beginning again so you can see where it started. So how am I going to do that, right? Well, first of all, cookies, right? This is what's getting me access to this thing. So I'm going to delete these cookies. And then on another screen right here, I'm going to run a, a special command I have that you can actually find um, in a community post um, that I'll show you that uh, just restarted this experience. So now we're back to step one where I am not authenticated. You can see that here. And I am going to do the flow again. All right. I've got some VMs running. So bear with me. And we're screen sharing. So here we go. You're going to see it. There it happened. And now I'm into my resource. So that's the full flow. You saw the full thing. That is, again, the start of the day. Um, so let's pretend, right, that my session expired or I'm accessing another app. I got to be careful. I don't want to uh, be showing the world all the apps I have access to. So I'm going to keep it to the community. So I'm going to delete these cookies, right? So these cookies are now gone. I'm going to reload the page. And I am going to now access it again. 
didn't put my hand on my keyboard, I'm there. So that's passwordless login. Um, that is the experience of Jump Cloud Go after I've done what's called that daily user verification step, getting me to resources. And the way that we work online, right, is we have sessions to all of the services that we use. And the power of Jump Cloud Go is it's generating these ses sessions without me having to interact, without me having to authenticate. And we can tune our session durations all the way down to their lowest settings supported by their um, supported by our service providers. And what that gives us, right, that gives us the ability to truly um, reduce our potential impact of compromise, where a session that is a minute long versus a session that's an hour long or eight hours long, if that session gets stolen, if it's a minute long, they've got, you know, less than 60 seconds to try to do something before what they've taken, a bad actor, becomes useless. So this is the security. Um, so the experience again, right? The experience as a user is I start my day with a touch and anytime I access a resource that requires authentication that's coming through SSO, if it's generating a new session, I'm gonna see secure passwordless, that loader, um, uh, that loading experience uh, gives me that, that, that trust to know that that session's being generated without a password.